Solar Cloud delivers massive scale and incredibly affordable prices and amazing resiliency. And it's because of how we have built this infrastructure, not in dedicated data centers, but across a distributed global infrastructure layer. Kyle is the man who leads our engineering here at Salad. Uh, and we're gonna spend a little bit of time just delving into that architecture, Kyle. Um, you know, I just mentioned the distributed nature of our infrastructure, heterogeneous nodes, broadband connections, distributed all over the globe. What an engineering challenge. What, what's been the biggest challenge of that build for you and your team? The, the first big one was reliability. So looking at, um, you know, home internet connections, the relative, you know, change and difference in quality and reliability across those, uh, those connections, the speed differences that you see, um, even just generally the different hardware, having a heterogeneous mix of hardware and how they behave differently with different software components. So reliability was a big one, but taking that challenge, rolling it up into a product that now we can deliver something that's on par with the hyperscaler clouds that you can take an application, deploy it on Salad and expect the same experience, the same reliability. Um, and we can, we can achieve that. One of the biggest levers that we have to achieve that is the distributed scale of the system. So unreliability on the internet in one place of the world allows us to shift elsewhere. Um, nodes coming online and going offline. We have the scale that allows us to bake in redundancies and roll applications over to ensure that we keep things up. You know, it's interesting, one of the things we, we often see in the news is, you know, AWS is down, so service A, B, C, and D. Massive swaths of the internet go down when one of these dedicated data centers have an issue. I suppose you and your team, you've had to bake reliability into this thing from day one because of the aspect of nodes coming online and offline, the resiliency that brings. Um, but tell me a little bit more about trust and security and, and how we've thought about that bringing Solid Cloud to market. Yeah, so on the machines themselves, we start really with a virtual machine that isolates, you know, where our applications run from Solid Cloud on the machine. It keeps what the, the owner of the machine has, you know, maybe games or other applications isolated. Um, so they don't share the same memory, disk space, um, Within the virtual machine, we then break it down into containers. So we use namespaces for networking, disk, file system, memory, CPU, C groups, and that allows us to then even for multiple jobs running on the machine, we can keep those isolated and secure and monitor what's happening. So I know you and your team have spent a lot of time trying to bring the experience of using Solid Cloud to be very equivalent to the big box providers, the hyperscalers. Um, tell us a little bit more about what's happening in the back end when you upload either from a public repo or a private repo, a container for deployment across Salad. So we start by taking the requirements that the customer has. So does it need access to a GPU? How much RAM? What are the CPU requirements? We even have more uh, advanced controls that customers can specify too, like whether or not the application needs to run in specific geo regions. We can then go through, kind of survey our network, and we have a map, and we know who's doing what, and find the best fit, you know, collection of nodes to that application. And then we push that down to those nodes, and they begin to pull and immediately run the application from there. You know, it's an interesting thing when you look up cloud computing, you search cloud computing, news articles pre-2010, the theme is security. And the general consensus was, I'm never moving from on-prem to the cloud because I can't trust them with my data. And I feel like we're facing the same challenge today, given that, that characteristic of our infrastructure. Um, let's delve a little bit more into what sort of systems you and your team have built um, to really make sure that we have you know, a similar integrity to what you'd expect from a fully managed cloud service. So, Building on top of the virtual machine that isolates all of the applications from the operating system and the applications that the owner of the machine may have and be running. Um, within that context, we have also looked at adding a host intrusion detection system. So it gets us hooked into the kernel. It allows us to see what's happening across the machine. It's not something that can be tampered with. And that allows us to know is someone trying to look at files, access memory, do something that we would say this is a this is an 
an operation that's not allowed, something that does not work and is not compatible with the expectations that you said, right? People bring and have there. So for us, what this feeds into is we can detect and see what's happening and we have the concept of a trust rating. So we can, we can look at our nodes, we can look at the users and the behaviors that they exhibit. And in addition to selecting on the hardware compatibility, maybe geo region that the node is in, we can also ap apply a filter for how much we trust that node to do the right thing, to be able to run the application beginning to end and to not try to tamper with it. I suppose a, a good analogy here is, is a business like Uber or Airbnb, and you speak about the trust rating system. Without that aspect, those businesses don't exist. And it sounds like you and the team have really ported that concept with many different endpoints, many different um, uh, um, algorithms, I suppose, that go into creating a very similar dynamic across Solid. Yes. Um... And, and even though it may be advanced and there's a lot of tools and techniques being applied under the hood, I think the analogy of the you know, Uber, Airbnb style system, right? Five-star rating, how much do you trust this node? Um, that allows us to really hone in on the best. Uh, what it also does though, is it kicks back the behavior and expectation to the, to the node owners who are supplying these machines. They know what they're expected to do. Uh, and what it, it allows them to do is work on that rating to get it better and to become a trusted node, which then unlocks more powerful jobs that they can be contributing to.